Hey guys, welcome back. So in this session, we are going to set up Tosca server and uh, we are going to see what all services are available. So on this picture, we see how the Tosca architecture is uh, distributed and uh, we are talking about the Tosca server. Now within Tosca server, you can see there are lots of different services. Uh, some of them like the REST API service, the file service, the DEX monitor, uh, DEX server, automation object service, and uh, license administration, uh, and also authentication service. Right? So all of these services, uh, they work from the Tosca server, and they are connected to different components, as you can see, um, across the Tosca architecture. So there is the database tier, um, then there is the Tosca CI client, which helps uh, in building CI CD pipelines. And then there are the agents, uh, DEX agents, right, which are also connected to uh, the DEX server uh, in Tosca server. And then there is the license tier, and then there's the Tosca commander at the end, right? So all of these are connected to each other and uh, you have to set up Tosca server uh, if you want to manage all of these different components within the Tosca architecture, okay? So we are going to see um, how we can uh, set up Tosca server, and then later on we'll also see how you can set up DEX agents, and um, how you can uh, then trigger test events from the Tosca commander, which will then reach to the DEX server, and then um, they will be triggered in these DEX agents. Okay, so um, set up Tosca server, it's not that difficult. Okay, so it is pretty similar to how we uh, set up Tosca commander. Okay, so we have got a exe and I have downloaded it already on my machine uh, where you can get this. Again, uh, go to the Tricentis support portal and go to product support. Uh, go to the relevant Tosca version which you want to download. So go to the download section. Here you will find all the different versions. But I have picked uh, the latest version, Tosca 16. Okay, and uh, this is the Tosca server. You can see here. Just click on this, uh, and it will download that particular version. So I have updated my Tosca commander from 14.3 to 16.0 for this particular uh, session. And that is because um, they don't have uh, that old um, Tosca server version, which is available for download here. So, uh, and I thought it's better uh, to update the Tosca version to the latest version. So finally I have done that and I've also uh, downloaded the Tosca 16 Point zero server now okay so uh, we are going to install this now and as I said uh, it's not pretty complicated um, you just need to follow uh, the software installation process right so click on continue it will uh, install all these prerequisites if they are not present and then um, it will install all these different services which we saw in the diagram you can see gateway, license administration, DDS, uh, AOS, distributed execution, file service, REST API, okay? So all of these services should be available on your machine. Um, I will choose the default location. You can always change it. Uh, you can select or deselect this option. And here, uh, something important, so we have two options to set up Tosca server, either through HTTP or HTTPS. For HTTPS, uh, you will require a certificate thumbprint, okay, and it should match. So that's what uh, is required for HTTPS. So I generally prefer HTTP for this setup. And uh, by default, port 80 should be, um, should be available if you are installing this on a server. Uh, so, but for me, it's not available, so I will use 8080, okay, so which matches the local host uh, of my server or this machine. 
and then I'm going to click next this is the install location for file service and these are all the services okay and it will start uh, installing now so one thing uh, to note is I am doing all this setup on my local so both Tosca commander and server would be running in my local uh, it's not a recommended setup for a production like environment it is just for uh, demo and practice uh, we are looking at this but uh, you can get a different Windows server right uh, and make sure it is it is of uh, higher configuration because Tosca server does take up a uh, little more resources than uh, Tosca commander because so many services are running okay so it's better to have a Tosca server uh, a dedicated uh, server for Tosca server okay which could be a Windows uh, Windows server and uh, this could be a physical server or a cloud server uh, it's up to you but uh, it should be a dedicated server uh, mostly okay and uh, when you work in real projects you will have these servers which are dedicated for a Tosca server and then you will have different machines for Tosca commanders and then different machines for Tos Tosca DEX agents right so these are the three main components uh, which you need to set up uh, in your infrastructure and uh, that way uh, it will be better to manage and also it will be efficient and faster okay but for practice purpose you can always go ahead and uh, set up Tosca server on your machine if your resources are good and it can handle uh, this load of both Tosca server and commander uh, running at the same time okay so this will take some time uh, to install um, all the services so let's wait until this is finished If you want to follow along then uh, go ahead and download the Tosca server 16.0 or any other version uh, it should match uh, whatever Tosca commander version you have uh, on your machine currently so either upgrade it to 16 and then uh, install 16 or um, download the server version which is available on the support portal and which matches the commander version okay uh, so that is important So as you can see the installation was completed uh, without any problem it is going to open the Tosca server in your browser and also the settings page okay uh, we will look into both of these pages and what it means okay so uh, while managing the Tosca server um, either as an admin okay or as an user uh, who has got this access to this server you need to look at all these different services okay so this is the Tosca dashboard you can say and uh, it contains some of the uh, services which are important for Tosca server also when you click on the settings okay so it opens this settings page and uh, here you can see all the different ports and configurations for each service okay which if you want to change you can change it here and as soon as you change something uh, you click on save then the service is going to be restarted so if something is not available or not running here right so all the services should be in running state if you are currently using it if something is not running you can come here and click on save it is going to restart the services 
okay and after that uh, it should be in the running state uh, you're not going to use all of the services but whatever services you are using so uh, do take care of the ports where they are running right so these are all the endpoint URLs like for Dex, this is the endpoint URL currently um, and similarly every service has got a particular port okay and that port should be available on that particular machine or server otherwise your service would be affected okay now the other way uh, to restart your services is you can also go to your task manager okay and there uh, you will go to services and go to tricentis and you will find all the different services here and i can either stop or start this particular service okay like this one i can start the service although it, i may not be using it okay i can also go ahead and restart any particular service so when you restart it goes to stop and then starts running okay um, and similarly you can also go and search for services okay here it's the same thing but um, from windows you can find your which service you want to restart and all the services are listed here uh, and their status so you can monitor your services right from here and restart if they are not in running state okay so there are three ways you can uh, maintain your uh, tosca server services and coming back to our our tosca dashboard uh, you can see all the major services here like the tds test data services this is the license administration this is the user administration and this is the administration console okay um, and one of the important ones we are going to look at is distributed execution okay uh, which is also known as dex we are going to talk about this um, and when you click on this it actually takes you to the monitor okay and in the monitor uh, this is a web page where you can monitor your uh, all your test events which are triggered through DEX okay on different agents so if you have set up any particular agent it will be uh, available in the agent view here you can see all the agents which are set up and connected to the Tosca machine okay or Tosca different commanders um, so all the agents which you set up they will be available here you can see their state whether they are running or they are in some error state so you can monitor everything here you can also restart all the agents from here right so currently i don't have any agents running so it is showing uh, zero agents um, also in the event whatever test events we are going to trigger uh, whether they are passing they are in running state or they are failing right so everything will be you can monitor it right here or you can also uh, stop those test events if you don't want them to run right from here okay so this is called uh, the event monitor it is part of the tosca server so once you set up tosca server this event monitor url would be available for you okay right um, so this was all about the tosca server um, obviously there are lots of different configurations which you need to do if you want to work uh, we'll see one of them uh, for distributed execution we need to change some configurations um, and all of it would be uh, done on c program files so you can go to that location where your tosca server is currently present Go to Tricentis, Tosca server, and here you will find all the folders for all the different services. And inside this, you will find different configuration files, um, which you might need to tweak in order to um, get it running uh, for you. Okay. So here we have also got the Dex monitor and Dex server, you can see. Okay. So we are going to see um, how you can change some configurations here. Uh, in 
while we talk about the distributed execution okay so this was all about uh, tosca server how you can set it up how you can maintain your tosca server and all the different services which are running with tosca server and also uh, you can view the dex monitor right from a url um, or from your dashboard okay so this is the tosca dashboard yeah and next we are going to talk about the distribution services or uh, the distribution execution so which is known as dex